From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Barry. Thank you very much for welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. Wow, we had an exciting one on the last program, and our current champion won himself an automobile and all kinds of prizes, and he's back now because we didn't get a chance to spin against the devil. Jay Stewart, would you reintroduce the current champion? He's here and he's ready with those winnings totaling over $13,700, our photographer, Mark Gluckman. Hi, Mark. How you doing, Jack? That was an exciting game you were in. Uh, it's been terrific. It was your fifth game. You won an automobile. You won all kinds of prizes. You won cash. You're winning $13,750. And maybe it's all just starting because there is no limit to what you can win. You ready to spin against the oh, devil? you bet. Come on Let's over and face the devil. Congratulations again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Up on the wheels, running the money and devils. Every time you spin and avoid the devil, you get the money. If you get to $1,000 or more without seeing that devil, in addition to everything else you've won, you will get these prizes as a bonus. First of all, for the lady in your life, a complete wardrobe of Max Factor's world-famous fragrances featuring Stephen B., Cara, Toujours Moi, and Just Call Me Maxie, Max Factor's outrageous new fragrance. And the 22-volume World Book Encyclopedia, including Research Guide and Index Volume. World Book is easy to use, easy to read, and easy to understand. Also, a trampoline with a unique round design for safe outdoor fun and recreation. Ideal for physical fitness with features such as uniform bounce and larger jumping area, furnished by round trampoline. Plus, we'll fly you to East by Las Palmas, Mexico. A new vacation resort on the beautiful Pacific with a breathtaking view of the coastline. Enjoy the ideal climate and culture while sightseeing and shopping among the small villages and towns. While there, suntan at El Presidente Hotel and East by Las Palmas, the marvelous Pacific Coast Resort, El Presidente. This bonus round, Mark, is worth over $2,800 in cash and prizes. As I mentioned on the last program, with the cash involved, you'll be winning over $17,000 if you can beat the devil. Now, he's beaten you before. Let's see if you can avoid him. Give him a spin. And your first spin gets you 25, 25. That's right for Castro. Castro triple. You did it again. Like everybody watching the Joker's Wild knows, automatically takes you to a thousand dollars, and you win all the prizes. That's the second time you've done that. True. It's and I time. and I have the money to prove it. He has okay, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, plus the trip to Mexico, the trampoline, the encyclopedia, the wardrobe fragrances. All told, you're winning sixteen thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Right. And we'll play game number six after this. On the last program, Mark Luckman won his fifth game and won an automobile. Of course, any time he or any player wins five games in a row, here is what they win. It's it, a brand new car! A new Chevy Chevette four-door hatchback. The new rear doors make it easy to get into the back seat where you'll find lots of leg room. The Chevette four-door hatchback has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car, furnished by Chevy Chevette. Now we start another series of five. If Mark can win five more games, we win another car. Let's play game number six now against this challenger. This is a school teacher, Jack, and the mother. Meet Joanne Gaze. <laughs> Hello, Joanne. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? What keeps you busy in life, Joanne? My husband and I make beautiful music together. <laughs> Well, all of you out there seem jealous. <laughs> uh, you actually are a music teacher? Yes, sir, and so is my husband. He is a lyric baritone, and I play piano. And then just for fun, we take out our two guitars and do some duet work, usually at uh, local churches. That well, sounds like it's <laughs> lots of fun. And uh, we're delighted to have you on the program. And Thank you, you play against a very formidable gentleman who has won five games. This will be his sixth. And here are the categories to be used in the game. They are potluck, could be any category, followed by awards. Then we have explorers, chemistry, and finally, multiple meanings, words with multiple meanings. Joanna Gaze, your spin, good luck. Thank you, Jack. And you get chemistry, joker, and a triple. Oh, dear. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll try chemistry for 200, Jack. The study of organic chemistry is the study of compounds that contain a certain element listed as C on the periodic table. Name that element. Carbon. Yes, that's right. You have $200. Starting your sixth game, your first spin, Mark Buckley. Joker, chemistry, and a triple. <laughs> chemistry for 200, Jack. This acid is produced from a mineral and has the chemical formula of H2SO4. Name the acid. H2SO4. Sulfuric acid. Correct. Tie game at 200 feet. Your spin, your ass. Joker, award, and chemistry. I'll try awards for 100, Jack. The Antoinette Perry Award, better known as the Tony, is given annually to certain members of the entertainment industry. Specifically, where must you perform to be eligible for a Tony? Oh, dear. Don't know? Don't know? No. $100 if you can tell me, Mark. Broadway. On Broadway, right. You have $300. Yeah. You have spin. <laughs> Award, Joker, and a triple. I'll take awards for 200, Jack. Once again, in a lightning thrust here, you could win the game in, again, a very, very short time. A $200 question, which would bring you to $500, and your total winnings would be $17,050. If you wanted to read the book which recently won the Hugo and the Nebula Awards, which section of the bookstore would you go to? Could you repeat the, the Hugo and... If you wanted to read the book which recently won the Hugo and the Nebula Awards, for $17,050, which section of the bookstore would you go to? The science section. You are right. What? <laughs> One second. Hold everything. Hold everything. Hold everything. I'm going to have to ask you to elaborate on that. Science answer. fiction. Science fiction. Now I can give you your $17,050. Congratulations, Mark. I didn't mean to cut off your answer. Uh, you probably were going to say science fiction, but I yelled that you had won before you even gave the whole answer, which was science fiction, and you have $17,550, which is yours, and in a moment you'll get your sixth chance to spin against the devil. Well, Joanna, it was a quick game. Thank well, we've you. been delighted to have you on the program. Let's say goodbye to Joanne Gaze. Thank goodbye, you. Joanne. That's for you, Mark. Come on over and face the devil. You, uh, you may not know it, Mark, and with your young lady friend out in the audience, I hate to call your attention in front of millions of people watching television, but you have lipstick on your right cheek. Congratulations, that's all. It was congratulations backstage. Oh, from backstage? Yes, right. Uh, nothing more serious. Who else? I don't know, well, your young else? lady. Oh, what else? Oh, what else? <laughs> it looks fine on you. Up, up on the wheels, nothing but money and devils. Avoid the devil, you get the money. Get to $1,000 or more. Not only will you get the money, but these will be your gifts this time. First, from IDI, an AM-FM stereo car radio with 8-track tape player. Features fader control, push-button eject, 20 watts of power, and three-way speaker with built-in three-way crossover. Furnished by Inland Dynatronics. And for truly elegant dining, this lovely Michael C. Fina silver plate flatware. 68 pieces in a contemporary deluxe drawer chest. Furnished by the Michael C. Fina Company, New York City. Also, Fazel's Thomas Jefferson collection of lamps. Weathered bronze fixtures with hand-blown opal glass. In authentic colonial design in the rich tradition of American craftsmen. Furnished by Quazelle Lighting. Plus, from Gibson, one of the white consolidated industries, a frost clear refrigerator freezer. Featuring picture frame doors, glide out cantilever shelves, custom interior, and Gibson's exclusive silver lining insulation that saves. And Commonwealth by Bassett. Country oak finish on oak engraved wood product and selected hardwoods. Oval table and chairs with China base and China hutch. Furnished by Bassett. And this bonus round, Mark, is worth over $3,400 in cash and prizes. Ready? Okay, I'm ready if you are. Give me a spin. That first spin gets you 150. 150. It's okay. Boy, with you, there's, there's no two ways about it. You either win right away or you lose Very right definitive. away. Very definitive. Well, Very you didn't win this time, but you're still winning $17,050. You're going to game number seven right after these words. <laughs> And so now we play game number seven for the champion Mark Glucksman against this challenger. Jack, here's a computer programmer whose hobbies are gardening and sighting UFOs. Meet Diane Sears. Hi, Diane. Hi, Jack. How are you? 
Have you, uh, have you ever sighted any UFOs yourself? Uh, yes, I did, way back in the 50s. But at that time, it wasn't fashionable to report it, so I didn't report it. But I did see some over the Atlantic Ocean. Nothing since then? Nothing since then. I see. And uh, your last name is Sears? Sears, no Roebuck. <laughs> Well, if you play well in this program, you'll get quite a few bucks. Oh, I understand. Let me show you the categories we'll be using in the game. They are fast-forward novelists. That'll be followed by famous pairs, annual events, Germany, and finally, The Wizard of Oz. Diane Sears, you are the challenger. You go first. Good luck. Okay. And you get annual events, Joker, and Germany. I'll take annual events for 100. This annual event is celebrated every March 17th. For $100, name it. What is St. Patrick's Day? I beg your pardon? St. Patrick's yes, Day. Yes, that's right, for $100, very good. In your seventh game, Mark, good luck. Wizard of Oz, annual event, and a joker. Oh, I'll take, uh, I'll take Wizard of Oz for 100 Jack. Dorothy and Toto were captured by a winged army sent forth by the Wicked Witch of the West. What kind of animals made up that army? Apes, monkeys. Correct. So I can accept that? All right, we can accept it. Very good, and you go to $100. All right, tied up. Your spin, Diane. Famous pairs, annual events, fast-forward novelists. I'll take fast-forward novelists for 50 As you know, each correct answer. Now I would bring you $50. You can go on as long as you wish, but when you miss, if you do miss, you go back to where you were. Okay. Name the best-selling author who wrote The Carpetbaggers and The Betsy. Uh, who is Harold Robinson? No, that is not correct. Okay. You'll get $50 if you can tell me, Mark. Harold Robbins. Robbins, right. You go to $150. And it's your spin. Fast forward, Joker, and a triple. I'll take fast forward novelist for 200 Jack. All right, you're going all the way. Each correct answer gets you $200. I point out to you that two answers would win you the game because you're at $150. Question number one for $200. The novel Tales of the South Pacific was converted into a Broadway musical starring Mary Martin and Ezio Pinza. Name the Pulitzer Prize winning author of the Tales of the South Pacific. James A. Michener. You're correct, you have $350. <laughs> Do you stop at $350 or go on? One more. If you answer this next question correctly, you will have $550, enough to win the game and bring your total winnings up to $17,600. Here is the question. This author believed science was destroying human values and expressed that concern in his novel, Brave New World. For a grand total of $17,550, what is the author's last name? Huxley. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. The reason, the reason I'm hesitating, Mark, is that theoretically you can continue to go if you wish, and I want to give you that option. You can continue no, I, playing. No, I won't be greedy. You want to stop? Yeah, I'll stop. He stops winning $17,600 at this point. Of course, of course, we meant stop in this program. You're still on the show, and you still have the right to keep on playing. And in a moment, you'll be facing the devil for the seventh time. As for you, Diane, sorry you couldn't win, but oh, backstage well, will be some nice goes. consolation prize. Let's say goodbye right. to a very nice lady. Goodbye, Diane. See you. As for you, Mark, come on back and face the devil. Here he comes. Well, last time up here, we missed out on this car stereo, the flatware, the lamps, the refrigerator, freezer, and the dining room. If you could avoid the devil this time, you would be winning in cash and prize another $3,400, which would take you up to $21,000 in cash and prizes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. And your first pick. You have 150. 50. And 50. That's $250. Up to you. Do you want to stop or do you want to risk that $250? Okay. 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 Risking $250. $50. $50. $100. Now you're at $450. Do you stop or go? I'll go one more time. One more time. Okay. Risking $450. $25. $150. $75. Now you're the halfway mark. You have $700. I'll take the cash. I'll take the cash. He's going to stop with the cash. Okay. Here you have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 
seven hundred. Your grand total now, eighteen thousand three hundred dollars. We'll be back to see if we can win game number eight. Absolutely. Mark Luxman continues his enormously lucky and skillful winning ways and goes now into his eighth game. Here's who he plays against. This time, a homemaker and a mother of two. Meet Karen Carlson. Hello, Karen. Nice to have you here. I understand you're a busy lady. What do you do that keeps you so busy? Well, I'm very involved with the Assistance League of Newport Beach uh, Daycare Center. It's the only nonprofit daycare center in Southern Orange County, and I work on the administration and the fundraising. And I have two children, Bonnie, eight, and Randy, ten, and they keep me on the go. I would say it sounds like you have a full life, and we'll hope to make it fuller by giving you some categories for you and Mark. And the categories are as follows: the mystery category, take it, and you'll get double. Then we have birds, followed by initials fictional villains, and the spirit of 76. Those are the categories. This is game number eight. Karen, spin, and good luck. You have fictional villains, initials, and a joker. Um, I'll take initials for 100, Jack. It is late at night. You look up into the sky, and 200 feet up, you spot a UFO. <laughs> what do the initials UFO stand for? Unidentified flying object. That's correct, for $100. In your eighth game, good luck, Mark Luffy. Initials, fictional villain, and the spirit of 76. Uh, initials for 50, Jack. In the early 1960s, the construction of fallout shelters was supervised by the CD department of many American cities. What does CD stand for? Civil defense. Yes, that's right. You have $50. Score 150, and it's your thing, Karen. You have birds, joker, and initials. I'll try initials for 100. You've heard of the HMS Pinafore, a sailing ship in the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. What do those initials HMS stand for? His Majesty's Ship. Correct, or Her Majesty's Ship. And you go to $200. You have to stand, Mark. <laughs> Bird, fictional villain, and a joker. I'll take fictional villains for 100 Jack. Peter Pan and his boys were often pursued by their enemy, who was the captain of a band of pirates. Name this villainous pirate captain. Captain Hook. Right, you're at $150. Mm -hmm. You're a spin character. Joker, fictional villain, and a triple. Fictional villains for 200. In the novel Tom Sawyer, Tom and Huck Finn witnessed the murder of Doc Robinson. For $200 more, who murdered Doc Robinson? I don't know. Sorry. You'll pick up $200 if you can tell me, Mark. Injun Joe? Correct. You go to $350. Oh. And it's your spin. Bird, Joker, and a triple. I'll go for uh, $200 for birds, Jack. All right. Correct answer would win you your eighth game. You would have $550. Would bring you close to, it would bring you up $18,850 and a chance to play against the devil. Here is the question. The state of Louisiana is nicknamed after a bird which has an enormous elastic pouch attached to its bill that can hold nearly 12 quarts of water. For a grand total of $18,850, name that bird. Pelican? You win $18,850. Congratulations, Mark Luxman. You're winning $18,850 in time permitting. We'll get a chance to face once again that ornery devil. As for you, Karen, uh, we can't give you any big money. We can't congratulate you for the work you do in the Day Care Center and for all the nice charitable things you do. And backstage will be a handsome consolation prize. Let's say goodbye to Karen Carl. Thank you very much. Well, Mark Gluckman, you are in that rarefied atmosphere Ooh. of people who have won around the $20,000 mark. There haven't been many in the many years Joker's Wild's on the air. You join that select few. You are a little short of it now, but when you play against the devil in your next game, I have been informed that should you beat the devil in the next game, you could go over the $22,000 mark. 
which would make you one of the highest money winners ever in the history of this program. Can you come back to the next show to try that? Oh, you bet I'll be back. Very good. You bet. When you come back, the very first order of business will be for us to match you up against the devil, and should you be lucky enough to beat him, you would be winning $22,250. In any event, no one will take away the money you're winning now, which is $18,850. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next program, as we will you. Jack Barry with the Joke is Wild. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, everybody. Some of our departed contestants will also receive a supply of diaphoreme baby washcloths. Convenient, economical, disposable, pop up towelettes with lanolin, gentle enough to use from top to bottom. And frosty root beer. Whole root to make on America's thirsty down and sugar free with the same creamy smooth taste as regular frosty root beer. Also, Wella Cholesterol, the 30 minute deep conditioner that restores all the shine, body, and silk and condition you need for strong, sexy looking hair. Speaking the Joker's Wild, this is Jack Berry and Dan Enright Productions.